What's up guys, Alex here with a new video and I apologize for the audio quality of this video. I am using a different mic for the time being uh, but basically this video is a remake of one of my old tutorials um, the phase effects where you would show a before and after comparison of a video and a video with a video effect applied to it. Um, but this way uh, it's not necessarily an easier way but it also is a different way of doing it and uh, there's a lot more uh, things you can do to show this uh, before and after comparison. So in this way, I'm going to show you guys how to do it using the masking tool. And this is what the result should be. So I'm going to go ahead and restart a new video. So I'm just going to grab the same video again, delete the audio track, and then I'm just going to start right here. So you want to go ahead and just to make it easier, you want to go ahead and pick a point where you want the effect to start and then where you want the effect to be fully uh, transferred. And by that I mean by uh, where it shows the original video and it transitions over to the new video. So the effect should be ideally around half a second. So let's say if I started at 9 seconds, I would want it to end at around 9 seconds and at 15 frames which is halfway between 9 and 10 seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and press M on my keyboard to put a marker um, and then I want to go ahead and put another marker at the start of the effect which is 9 seconds and hit M again so once you have those markers down you want to go ahead and um, go to your event pan crop option and then you want to make sure that your scene cursor is on so whenever you move your cursor on the timeline it moves along with the cursor on the um, actual timeline as well so you want to go ahead and go to the start and then open up the event pan crop window again and we're going to go ahead and select mask now with the new Sony Vegas Pro 12 you can actually create rectangular and um, oval shapes with these two new tools um, in previous versions, you're going to have to make your own rectangle, which isn't really perfect, but it will um, also work for this tutorial as well. So I'll go ahead and select the rectangle or square mask creation tool. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a little rectangle slightly bigger than the um, actual video itself. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and make sure that this little option right here is set to move and X only. Now if you set it to that, it's only going to move in the um, x-axis and it won't allow you to move anywhere um, else. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and in the first keyframe, you want to go ahead and move it off to either the left or the right. I'm just going to set it to the right. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my second marker. And we'll, this will automatically jump forward 15 frames on the masking window. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and move this back to over the um, video. Now, what you notice is that the effect is basically a black transition. So this is not what you want. But first, we have to do is apply a video effect to the video. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my video effects and apply some um, color correction. So I'm just going to apply this red light right here. And then what we have to do is tell the program that we want only the effect to be masked, not the actual video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, go back to the event pan crop window and all you have to do is go to the keyframe and there should be an option called mask apply to FX. Um, it should be set to yes and once you've done that, what it'll do is it'll mask the um, video effects only and not the actual video. And if you go through it, you're going to see that the masking effects is only masking the effects and the video remains untouched. So that's basically how you do the phase effects with the masking tool in Sony Vegas. Uh, there's also another way you can do a comparison between two different videos. Uh, so let's say I want to go ahead and go to my event pan crop window and I'm going to delete all the keyframes and then so that the effect is applied throughout the entire video now what I want to do this time is 
show a section of the video temporarily um, of the video without the effect. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same process as last time. Go to the first keyframe. Make another keyframe. And then I'm just going to draw a uh, really long rectangle. But I'm not going to fill up the entire uh, video as you can see here. So with that, I'm going to move it off to the side. Go to my second keyframe. And then I'm going to put it all the way to the other side over the video. Now with this effect, you really want it to be uh, longer than half a second just so you can tell the viewer what's different about the video. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the second keyframe and I'm going to elongate it to about a second longer. And once you've done that, that's basically uh, another way you can show a before and after comparison of the video with the effect. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, nothing special. I'm still trying to get back to making tutorials again uh, now that I have a little more time to make them. And if you have any tutorial suggestions, please post them down in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time.